really quickly come on here. I'm in my car on my lunch break um, in the parking garage, but I just wanted to really quickly just say thank you to everyone for all of your support with my first two videos. Um, all of you know your kind words and just everything it really does mean a lot to me especially everyone at my gym just with the giant tripod and you know everyone being so patient and supportive it really it's it it's making me really happy that I'm doing this so thank you so much and I also wanted to apologize for releasing two videos and then like kind of going AWOL for two weeks I've had kind of a crazy couple of weeks uh, as far as being injured goes, um, I didn't work out at all last week except for once. Um, I played a couple minutes of volleyball last weekend and pulled a calf muscle and then a couple days later pulled my quad. And then I came to find out that I had a rib popped out of place and I've just been having a lot of back pain. So I'm just trying to nurse myself slowly back to health and not injure myself any further. Um, so that's kind of why I haven't posted. There hasn't been much footage really, but um, I am gonna try and start to get on a regular posting schedule. I'm not promising anything just yet, but I do think it's gonna be probably Mondays and Thursdays, just the way with you know my schedule and editing and what I think I'm gonna be able to do. So yeah, I'm sorry, but I do have another gym vlog for you to watch, so I don't wanna keep you um, I did just want to say thank you because it really does mean a lot to me. So, yeah, let's get into the rest of the video. Okay, so I have tried to film, record, Jesus, I suck tonight. It is like past midnight. I've been awake for so many hours now. I've been to work. I've sat through torrential rain and traffic because when it rains in Florida, nobody knows how to drive. I went over a million bridges today. I am just frazzled, so please bear with me through this voiceover. I've tried to record it three times now, four times the charm. Anyway, into the video. This wad was called a Tabata. Tabata, you can say it either way. I say Tabata. Basically what that means, it's not, you know, specific to CrossFit, but basically what that means is it's eight rounds of 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. And we pretty much did four Tabatas back to back. Um, the first one was a deadlift one. And the prescribed weight was, um, I think the prescribed weight for this was 125. Yeah, it was 125 for women. I only did 105. Um, like I said, I'm still nursing a back injury and I did not want to make it worse by just doing heavy deadlifts. and. Eight rounds, honestly, it it adds up pretty quickly. 20 seconds might not seem like a lot of time, you know, but after eight rounds, it gets pretty heavy. So that was the first Tabata. And then the second one here is hang power cleans. And a hang power clean, hang means that you're starting from a hang position, which is just over your knee. You're not going from the ground, so you're not doing a full clean. Um, and power means when you land in a power position, you're landing above parallel, so you're not in a full squat. Um, and these are, these are also pretty hard on your back. This whole wad really was not good for somebody coming back to the gym and just going right into it with a back injury. Um, I hadn't, I didn't work out at all last week except one time because I just have so many things wrong with me right now. And this was the first wad that I did coming back on Monday, so. I don't know if that was the smartest decision. Um, I'm hurting tonight, but you know, what are you gonna do? So the prescribed weight for the hang power cleans was actually 95 pounds, and um, I can do 95 pounds, but I went with 55, and I honestly, I probably could have put 10 or 15 more pounds on the bar and been okay, but I just kind of figured in between the deadlifts and the next round is front squats, I just didn't think it was a good idea. So, yeah. And um, here I am being a complete idiot and I deloaded my bar and then reloaded my bar and I used my entire minute of rest because I wasn't paying attention and I'm an idiot. So that kind of sucked because we only got one full minute of rest. Um, but the third Tabata is front squats and the prescribed weight for those was 65 pounds. I only did 55. Um, I honestly probably should have just done the bar. Front squats tend to be really difficult on my back 
because I tend to, oh, <laughs> that is attractive. Yikes, sorry, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> um, with any kind of weighted squat, I tend to breathe in and hold my breath so hard that I don't, I basically just tense up my entire back. So any pain that I have in my lower back immediately travels upward. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's probably how I popped a rib, honestly. I mean, I don't remember any one point in time feeling like there was a rib out of place. So it's <laughs> probably how I did it. Um, and honestly, these got heavy really quickly. I mean, I was in I was in pain after that. Also, I just want to quickly say that two things. One, I'm really sorry if this vlog seems like it it's edited in a weird way. This was a really difficult one to edit because there's so many breaks with the Tabata. Um, I cut out like I think over four minutes of rest. No, not four minutes probably like two and a half, three minutes of rest, but um, I didn't want to make this video too long and I did have that intro. So if it seems super choppy or, you know, like it goes from really slow to sped up um, and that's weird to you, I'm sorry. I tried to do the first two 30 second rounds just at normal time and then I sped the last six up. Um, so if you don't like that, let me know. Um, I also received quite a bit of feedback on my first actual gym vlog and a lot of people wanted more of a voiceover so um, I'm just doing a whole voiceover for this one and if you're tired of my voice again super sorry about that but you let me know because I want to do what you want to see. I was also told that my outro um, gave somebody cancer of the eyes and that it was so 2003 with the sparkles so I got rid of the sparkles even though I really liked them. If you miss the sparkles, like this video if you miss the sparkles because I really liked the sparkles, but I don't want to be so 2000 anything, so they're gone. So this last round is push press and the prescribed weight for the push press was only 45 pounds for women. Um, I'm using the 35 pound bar and that was plenty. Um, this one, this entire wad really tested my entire body just from one, not having worked out in an entire week and just being super sore, super tight, just, you know, everything. Um, so I was pretty glad that I stayed at that weight and I honestly lost count so many times that I don't even have a number for you. Um, I watched this video back several times and tried to count. Um, I know that I did 43 deadlifts or maybe I did 38 deadlifts. I don't actually know anything, but yeah. Um, <laughs> I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. Please, please, please give me your feedback. Anything you like, anything you don't like, I want to hear it. So thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.